How fantastic is it that rugby's back at Rodney Parade? It's just great to be back, isn't it, for all of us. I mean, I was driving down today, just get that great feeling that we're playing again and the boys are at home, it's just a wonderful thing. You're pulling in, it's a bit surreal though, yeah. i got to be honest, you pull in, it feels surreal, but it's great to be back, of course it is. Once you get here, you get that sense of the work that's been going on straight away, uh, non-playing staff and the playing staff, of course. A word on that, how much work has been going on? It's incredible. I said since I got involved, it's probably the best operational team I've ever worked with. And if I look how they've responded to the COVID crisis, both with putting in your temporary COVID centre uh, for the NHS and then also uh, making sure we're compliant with all the league regulations to get back playing and then hosting Cardiff tomorrow as well um, here at the ground. I think the team have done a phenomenal job to make sure we're safe to play, the players are placed to, uh, safe to play and of course that we're all OK to be here and film it um, so we can get it to our fans. And the Blues are playing here tomorrow, you touched on that. That's fantastic, everyone working together to get the results that's needed for rugby. Yeah, it is. And I think, you know, um, you know, it's a funny one for us because, they are, you know, ultimately they're rivals on the pitch. Yeah. But, you know, when push comes to shove, we all love rugby. Um, we all want Welsh rugby to succeed. So, of course, when we got the call, we were more than happy to accommodate and do whatever we could to make it work for the guys down in Cardiff. Um, get the Ospreys fixture on here. And it's, you know, it's a great little moment as well, I guess, in a strange way uh, in Rodney Parade's history. And you're looking well, but personally as a chairman, how difficult has it been? Well, it's been enormously challenging off the field. I would be lying if I didn't say different. I mean, the financial pressure that COVID has created for all four regions and the Welsh Rugby Union is, I'm sure, unprecedented in Welsh professional rugby history, for sure. Um, you know, there's a ton of work in front of us on that. So, you know, we're not out the woods uh, financially without a COVID as professional entities. We're going to have to work really hard the next year or two to recover. So I don't think we should underestimate that or we shouldn't um, sort of flower that up. It's going to be challenging financially for us, the next, for all the regions. But I think having said that, what I'm pleased to say is, you know, the vast majority of us are trying to work together, as you've seen with the Cardiff fixture being here, to try and make that work. So that gives me a little bit of sense of optimism that if we do all muck in together, both the union and the regions, hopefully over the next year or two, we can build our way back out of it. But we're going to have to roll our sleeves up. And the fans, a word on them. They'll be excited, obviously, to come back here themselves. When can we kind of expect fans to be back here in Rodney Parade and other grounds across Wales and the UK? No, look, I can't wait either. You know, I think about the Christmas fixtures, the, obviously the autumns and then the derbies, not to have people for a derby, it just breaks your heart. You know, it's uh, the atmosphere at Rodney Parade is electric. Um, look, we'll get people back as soon as we can. I think it's for everyone, it's a moving feast, right? Let's see what happens as we move into the autumn, what happens with the virus and the pandemic. We'll work in closely as you'd expect us to be with the health authority and the Welsh government and the UK government. So as soon as we can get people back in, we will be getting them back in. But of course, our first and right our priority is to make sure it's safe to do so but hopefully ASAP. Fantastic.